Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm back. <laughs> it's been a little while, but I'm back in the swing of things. So hopefully everybody um, is having a good Sunday. Memorial Day weekend, which I think is nice. I was lucky. I um, have a few extra days off this week, so get to enjoy my um, Memorial Day weekend or day, and then I'm a day or so, or about a day after that too. So, <laughs> so I know there's a couple people. Um, somebody else is on um, on having a chat or something today too. So. Um, I guess we're just going <laughs> to have to see who, how many devices we have. So, hi, Nora. Welcome. Hi, everybody. So, if you got more than one device, you could watch on a phone, a computer, a laptop, iPad. <laughs> Set them all up. Hi, Lynn. Welcome. So, it's good to see everybody so far. I know I've been out. <sighs> If you follow me on Instagram or um, I've had some health issues that are slowing me down a little bit. So, but hopefully I can get on the right medicine and get back to my old self. <laughs> so, yep, this is going to be interesting. I got two people watching. <laughs> well, hi, mom. Well, now three, technically. <laughs> So, oh, there we go. Hi, New England Thrifter. So, welcome, everybody. So, I am feeling a little bit better. Yeah, today, I'm, I was resting yesterday, so um, I think I should be good. Hopefully, I won't be um, a bum, to, you know, like not a bum, but a, a bummer. <laughs> but I actually did find my um, 1980s movies trivia box. This is pretty cool because 1980s, but then it, they look like little VHS tapes. Isn't that cool? So we'll do those today instead of the other ones. And um, let's see. I don't know. Did you get? Did you guys get the notification about my? I guess I haven't even got the notification about my sale yet. So uh, all right. Yes. If everyone. Um, that's here please give it a like and be in live chat and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe that would be awesome and let your friends know that I'm on too I know the space is getting um, a little snug <laughs> uh, with live sales and stuff and such hi Jerry welcome so I know the the space has gotten a little <laughs> tight and snug for live sales and, and such so kind of have to just figure out who you're gonna see or pop on this one pop on that one <laughs> so same as always um it we if you decide to purchase something um you would send your information to reclaim treasures by mary at uh reclaim treasures by mary at gmail.com your real name or your YouTube name, your real name, your address with zip code, PayPal information, and the item number. Okay, awesome, Michelle. And also, um, some that may have not gotten a um, invoice from the last sale, I am very sorry. I am working on those, and I figured I would work, if you bought anything today, I would be able to... Um, be able to do all that and get it sent out because oh i'm so sorry sharon that i've never had that so i i hope it'll be okay and i've heard that's very painful so i'm sorry for that um but if you have ordered something from my last sale and you didn't get an invoice yet i'm so sorry i'm still <laughs> plugging away at that but i have tomorrow and tuesday off from work um so i'll be able to pack orders tomorrow and i didn't want to um I want to save everybody on shipping. So, okay. So, um, 
yes, I know a lot of people have definitely been going through some stuff. Um, I know Sharon and then Nancy from this overstuffed house got to keep her in thoughts and prayers because she's having, oh, sorry, some pain. Um, it has to do with the leg and hip and stuff. Um, and I know Debbie Vitale is still in the hospital. And so lots of different people. We just got to keep us all up in prayer there. Hi, Trisha. Welcome. So it's a five minutes in and <laughs> as funny as it is, um, I called this the Memorial Day Eve sale. And I just happened to have 50 items which is you know 50 states 50 items it didn't <laughs> i didn't plan it that way but that's how it worked out hi mama j welcome i'm trying to drink more water i've um had my sodas today and i'm trying to get more water in my body and flush those yuckies out so okay so what i will do if you haven't seen it i have today i have 80s movie trivia and <clears throat> these are so cool because they have um they look like vhs tapes so let's pick one of these and then i will pick the first <clears throat> okay which movie featured the tagline sleep all day party all night never die it's fun to be a vampire <laughs> All right, while we're thinking on that, I will pick out a number and we will see. Let's see, what are we going to start out with? Now, of course, oh, explain um, as we usually do. Uh, there's three ways there is one is just a regular, you know, price, show you the price. Show, yes, Julie S., right, you got it. Yes, the Lost Boys. All right. Awesome. So if you haven't purchased from me before, there are three ways, you know, with the regular, um, just, you know, show you the item and you put the number in. There's what's called an offer up, which is um, I tell you the price to start at and you go, you know, up, 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 up until the dust clears. And the last person is, um, you know, if you, you know, if that's just a little too high for you, you say out and we see who's left and that's when. Then there is the triple T, which is totally tubular treasures, which is my version of the $2 sale. You know, I'm a kid of the 80s. <laughs> so, and um, finalizing some stuff with Angela and I should be um, Angela Marksberry, who is also is on Instagram. She's a great helper for um, uh, designing merch, um, as well as uh, Misty's daughter does it too. Misty Thrifter, Vin uh, yeah, you know who Misty is. <laughs> ah, so, okay, I digress. But, so, triple T, $2 sale, offer up or just regular price. All that said, if there's something that you like and you say, well, no, let's do that as an offer up and it's not normally an offer up, just put that right in there. Okay. That's the point of that one. <laughs> I know that was kind of like um, just a lot of wind for a small explanation there. <laughs> All right. Of course, this is one that's a little um, buried, I guess you could say. Okay, this first thing we're going to start out with is two pieces of ephemera. And it's, it's not something that I would keep um, personally for my ephemera, but I thought you guys might enjoy it. So it is embroidery transfers and learn how to rook. R O O K. <laughs> Rook. So very um, let's see. I don't know if it tells the year. 1962. So it has wonderful graphics on here in the back and the front. And it has a lot of different patterns, little embroidery patterns and such. Little bib there, that's so cute. And you want 
Swedish weaving, you know, so cute kind of stuff like that, that one. And then this book comes with it too. And this one was 1959. And this one is called um, Learn How to Rook. So crochet, how to crochet, um, all sorts of different things. So I just thought it was pretty neat. Hi, Barb Lee. Oh, welcome. Well, thank you for joining me. So, it's always good to see others. That You know, when you can make it, that's awesome. And when you can't, spending time with family is awesome, too. Look at that, 29 cents. Can you believe that? And this has got cool stuff on the back, too. So, these two beautiful embroidery and crocheting books are going to be $4.00. Four dollars, number forty-four. Hi, Lori Ann. Second part of living. So four dollars, number forty-four, for the embroidery and and crochet book. Okay. Oh, Sharon C. Sneaking in those with those fast fingers there. Okay. All righty. Let me get that down there for you. Thank you. Ooh, that was a popular one. Okay. Let's see. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Let's see. Let's do another one here. Hmm. Oh, that's too easy. That one is way too easy. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Do you want to do a Top Gun question or a Ferris Bueller's Day Off question? So, Ferris Bueller or Top Gun question. Okay. While we're doing that, I'll get our next item. Okay, so. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. We have two for Ferris Bueller. <laughs> okay, all right. So why don't we go with Ferris Bueller? Okay, what color is Cameron's dad's car in Ferris Bueller's Day Off? While you're stewing on that question, I'm going to reach over to get this thing over here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you is this is an example of, let's see, I saw it, uh, Sharon and Jules, or Julie, sorry, <laughs> Jules, um, and let's see, and Lynn, yep, it was red, okay. So, this particular little planter, I think, or holder of some sort, um, I was just gonna have it as a buy it now, but if you want me to do an offer up on it, I can. So it's a beautiful little planter. The only thing is that it really, it has a very, I don't even know if it has a mark. It's like the glaze made a puddle down there. <laughs> so it doesn't even say who made it. So, um, so do you guys wanna do this? horse planter or you know toothpick holder whatever you want to call it um air plant do you want to do it as a buy it now or an offer up there's beautiful flowers on both sides I haven't watched the movie in a while, but I do, as you guys know, if you've been here, I love to, if I, if it's just like nobody's, <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, cricket. All right, that's when I say Bueller. Okay, so it looks like buy it now. Okay, so it's in pretty decent shape. It has a little bit of paint loss, so on his tail and around the rim here. 
Yes, please, if you could. Yes, thank you very much, Michelle. Thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you could, like this video. And it's been a, it's a little pause on my part, but I'm gonna be coming back with some wonderful hauls. And um, I've been to a few garage sales and estate sales and everything, so there we go. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> So very beautiful planter. It is glazed except on the bottom. Okay, so that's going to be ten dollars number eight. Ten dollars number eight for the beautiful horse planter. Oh yes, yep, yep. From the the classroom. Yep, Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> Okay, so $10, number eight. Okay. All righty, so then I will ask the next question, which is what was the name of Maverick's rival in the movie Top Gun? So Maverick's rivals in the movie Top Gun. Okay, all right, so I see you, Sharon, for for that one, thank you very much. Enjoy, I know I have to get some, some air plants or some cactuses or something. I don't know, I'm not very, I'm not a very good, oh boy, let's see. You are right there, right on the money, Julie S. Julie S, sorry, <laughs> I wanted to call you Jules. So, Lieutenant Tom Iceman Kanansky. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. All right. We a lot of people should be able to get this one. What is baby's real name in the movie Dirty Dancing? Okay. Awesome. Okay. Let's see what we have. All right. Okay. Okay. Here's the. Not the warning, but the announcement. I have my one and I think only strawberry items today. <laughs> For a pair and they will go together. Okay. These are the Francis. Yep, you guys got it. I oh these are so easy. Either that or yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so these are pretty easy, huh? Oh, we all know what that one is. Let's see. Well, you know what? Why not? What the heck? What is the profession of Truvy Jones in Steel Magnolias? I know, right? We're all what we're mostly 80s, right? People, 80s, 70s, 80s. Okay, so I have two almost exact um same mugs. Okay. This one looks pretty good. Um, not faded or anything. Yes, Jerry, you got it. This one's a little bit faded, and that's why I was gonna sell them as a, a together. Um, so it is a lidded cup. So I'll try to. I didn't want to take off the lid until um, till I was gonna show you. So it's still really good condition there on the inside. I don't feel any chips or cracks or anything. Yep, you got it, hairdresser. So it's really good condition on these two strawberry mugs. No maker's mark or anything. So that's going to be $10 for number 11. So $10 number 11. Oh. Sorry, I keep hit something hit my mouse keeps hitting something. And so $10 number 11. Because it I would love one of these days to do a live sale outside, but not today. Oh, it has been crappy the last couple days. So, all right. You uh, you guys all got that? Yep, it worked. They were um, a beautician. All right. So, now, it might sound like I'm making... Um, a little bit of noise over here because I'm trying. I'm trying to separate my not sold from my sold. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Okay, maybe I don't know. 
Oh, it is so cold. It's only like 47. Well, maybe it went up a little. <clears throat> At the end of Full Metal Jacket, what song are the Marines singing when marching toward their camp? I ship from New York. I am like literally right in the middle of New York. I'm near the capital, um, Albany. I live in a town called Knox or Altamont. Doesn't really mean much. <laughs> Unless you've been here, been to the Altamont Fair, but it's kind of right near Albany. So, um, if you needed to know my e or my zip code right now, it one two zero zero nine. But yes, right in New York. Okay. <laughs> so at the end of Full Metal Jacket, what song is the Marines singing when they march back to camp? All right. So let's see. And I have my I have another bucket today. Nothing fancy. And I'm pulling out the next card. Okay. Let's see. Then I have my list over here. Of goodies. All right. So I will pull out the next cute little item. Now, I'm not sure what they call this. I called it a diorama, but I don't know if it is. <laughs> it's a, well, it's a scene setter. A new dimension in home decor, but I don't know what year it was. It is from Hallmark and it's really cool. Hopefully I can show you how it is. There's a little poem in there. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. But it's like, it has paper and then two it's like a shadow box kind of thing. So it's really cool. It has like two two or three dimensions to it. Two dimensional. It's really cool. I don't know if you can see it. And it is Hallmark, but it doesn't say what year. But it's really cool. Like it has two panes of glass. Well, I think they're plastic. And then the background. So that pretty little thing is $10 number 30. So it has flowers and butterflies and all sorts of pretty things. Mostly butterflies and flowers. I don't see any animals or anything. So $10, number 30. All right. Yes, it's definitely rainy and gloomy. Yuck. All right. All right, so, oh, did I stump you guys on the question? At the end of Full Metal Jacket, what song are the Marines singing when they march toward their camp? Okay, let me get another one. Moving right along here. All right, let's see, what is this one? Mm. <laughs> well, They sing PT. Uh, I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not a military song. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It is a, it's a strange, uh, you wouldn't think that they would play this, and I don't even know that this was a march but it has there we go i see it lynn hampton there you go the mickey mouse the mickey mouse march not sure what that is but <laughs> there you go the mickey mouse march that is one movie i have not seen okay as i had said in one of my previous uh videos um i'm not waiting for a whole bunch of people to come on before i do an offer up because it's just Silly. So, you guys uh, came at a good time, and we'll see how this one goes. I have a pair together of the Lovebirds of Happiness. Okay, it is signed um, by Leo Leo Ward uh, in year two thousand. So, it's a double. Bluebird of Happiness on a Heart. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to um, type in the amount to start. And then what you do is you go up by dollar increments. Unless we get a lot really high, you know what I mean? Like over $50 kind of thing. And um, then we'll go by $5 increments. So <sighs> let me type it in and then we'll see. And then we'll describe and take a look, see. Okay. Okay, so it's going to start at $10. Okay, all right, so once this, there we go. Well, oh, that's not too bad. All right, so once the $10 is up there, so here is a double blue bird of happiness. Their noses are good, no chipping on their little noses. And their tails are in good shape and they're sitting on a heart. And it probably is a little hard to see there, but it does say, Leo Ward 2000. Okay, so, so far we have Lynn and Andrea. So Andrea is now at 15. Okay, super pretty. The heart is in good shape. It's really in good shape. Just a little bit of dust on their tail, but I can clean that up. Their noses are good. Yeah, <laughs> we have a guest. Um, Let's see. So, okay. Jeffrey bought one from Daniel this morning. Okay. Well, I actually, I have another one, um, but I'd have to get it out. It's stored away, but I have another one just like this. So, all right. So now, so far we have Mama J or Andrea and Mama J at 20. So we need a tiebreaker there. Yeah, they are super cute and beautiful. I had... I sold one before, and this was one I got recently, but I also have one that's stored away a little bit. So, um, I know this is kind of silly, and if I can get it to work, I'm thinking of maybe having a um, sale from the trailer. I have a ton of stuff, but you have to realize that the trailer is full. <laughs> So if, if it could be a nice day, I could sit outside and just pull stuff out of the trailer and be like, here we go. But I don't know. I'll have to see. That might have to be like a bonus one. <laughs> okay. So Mama J, Mama J is out. So we have Andrea Kane at 23. So back to Lynn. Back to Lynn and Andrea. Okay. And I'm also thinking of jumping on that little trend of um, people doing the um, the pre-recorded sale. I saw a couple people do that because I have a ton of books to sell. And I was trying to think, would it be better to do the pre-recorded one on YouTube or do a um, Instagram sale for my books? So if you let me know, what do you think? Instagram or pre-recorded? <laughs> okay, so Lynn is out. So I'm pretty sure the only one left, let me go back up, is Andrea Kane. Okay, so I'm going to count down. All right, so I'm going to count down going once at 23 for Andrea. Five, four, three, two, one. Going twice for Andrea at 23. Five, four, three, two, one, and sold to Andrea Kane for $23. Okay, yeah, I could do that or do both. Or I trust me, I have a lot of books. I could do some books on Instagram and some books. And so, congratulations, Andrea. So, I'm going to put in up. Okay. All right, and so sold Andrea K for $23, okay? And um, you don't have to know the number, Andrea, but it's number two, okay? So congratulations, and I will have that again in another sale. I do have another one, but it's tucked away i guess you could say <laughs> all right 
write this down so I don't forget. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Awesome. They are super cute. All right. So let's get another question. Ah, okay. Now, in the movie Risky Business, what university does Joel Goodson's father want him to attend? So, the movie Risky Business, what university does Joel Goodson's father want him to attend? All right, so let's see what we have here. Shake it up, shake it up. Okay. Hey. Okay. I do hope the um I do hope the weather starts to get better. Okay, so I do have some jewelry today. And hi Gina Marie. Um it is not Harvard. No. One of the other prestigious ones, but not Harvard. <laughs> Okay, so let me make sure I have the right one. Yes, okay, so I have a beautiful brooch. Remember, right? The, bring back the brooch. All right, or hashtag bring back the brooch. <laughs> so this one is really cool. This one has three gold golden circles and these little... I don't know, they kind of remind you of whiskers. <laughs> That's a bad description. Uh, so it's sort of like a flowery green stones and silver stones and really pretty. Would be nice for, you know, St. Patrick's Day or Christmas or even any day, but if you like green. Ah, there we go. Lynn, we have Princeton, right? Princeton University. And, of course, the only thing you can remember from Risky Business is, uh, what's his face? I can't think of his name. Sliding across in a t-shirt in his underwear. <laughs> or a, a button-down shirt. So, all right. So, this beautiful brooch is going to be $10, number 40. So, $10, number 40 for the beautiful brooch. Tom Cruise. Yeah, that's who I thought it was, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> My brain. Okay. Sharon for number 40. Congratulations. It's a beautiful brooch. All right. Thank you very much. I have a few more brooches that are coming up soon. Okay. So let me see. Well, I don't want to take the one right after that. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. So is anybody doing anything special tomorrow for um, Memorial Day? I think right now, I don't know, it depends on the weather. I know when my son was younger, he would do, excuse me, the different parades, but he's not in Boy Scouts anymore. Okay, so. Ah, uh, yes, I have a few things for our gentlemen for Father's Day coming up, or the ladies, if they like these. I'm going to have to make a little stretch. <laughs> oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Okay, here we go. Grilling, yes. I hope we're going to grill. I um, We usually do that and have some salads, and I make this. We call it the 4th of July cake, but hi, Deborah, welcome. I think it's the first time you've joined us. Welcome. So um, I make what's called the 4th of July cake. It's really good. I used to be, um, I used to do Pampered Chef, and this was one of the recipes. It's really easy. A butter cake, you know, the buttery flavored cake, and some whipped cream, some vanilla yogurt, or Cool Whip, vanilla yogurt mixed together, little lemon zest or a lot of lemon zest. <laughs> and then you make this, cut the strawberries and, you know, and arrange the blueberries and the strawberries look like a flag. Super easy and everybody loves it. There was a time when 
my grandpa, rest his soul, would want it all times of year. I'd bring it Christmas time, make it with kiwi, you know, all sorts of neat things. So super easy. But for the man or lady in your life that enjoys motorcycles, Harley Davidson mug, nice sturdy mug. And it's from Harley Davidson. And um, it's officially licensed. It doesn't say what year, but it's pretty heavy. Okay, yeah, I'll have to definitely send the recipe. The band around the side is a little worn, but um, still in good condition. Uh, it's, it's good on the inside, so you could still drink from it or just have it on your desk as part of your Harley stuff. Okay. All right, so this mug is going to be $9, number 12. $9, number 12 for the beautiful Harley Davidson mug. Oh, well, I'm glad. Enjoy your vacation. I know I'm on a little vacation too from work. It just happens to be the two school districts I work in had their days off and stuff. And so I ended up with six days off. I was like, woohoo. So oh, first couple days I slept all day, but <laughs> so, all right. So $9 number 12 for the Harley mug. Okay. All right. Oh, that does sound good. I do. Oh, geez, I love this part. Okay, this was one of my favorite movies. What character in The Princess ba ba bleh, in the Princess Bride famously said, you killed my father, prepare to die? <laughs> ah, okay, that does sound good. The pulp, pulp cake? Cool. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. That does sound good. Yes, and if you could, please thumbs up subscribe, like, all that good stuff. All right. So we have that question going out. Who famous in the Princess Bride, who said you killed my father, prepare to die? All right. That was one of my favorite movies. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have our first flower frog. If you want this to be an offer up, that's okay. If not, that's okay too. All right, so this is pretty basic. And yes, Vinny, hey, Vinny, welcome. Yes, in Tigo, in oh, Montoya. <laughs> yes. In the, well, the way they spell it here, I don't know, that's weird. <laughs> that's how they spell it. But I thought there was a T in there somewhere. somewhere. Yes, I loved that movie. Okay. All right. So let me. Okay. Well, that's okay. I didn't even know how to spell it myself. <laughs> so I have a clear flower frog here. Okay. It's just a little tiny baby flower frog. Um, it has a couple little chips in here. Well, one. I know I saw a chip somewhere. It's so tiny, I can't find it. Maybe it's not in this one. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> so, cute little one, okay? And um, I know, Andre the Giant, I know. It was so sad. So, all right. I can't keep following my, I have to put my phone on airplane mode, I think. <laughs> All right. So whew, this beauty, little beauty is going to be $4, number 48. So $4, number 48 for the tiny baby little flower frog. If you want me to um, measure it, I can see how big it is. Why don't we do, let me see. I have all my little goodies here today. So it is about a little shy of two and a half inches and about two inches tall. Okay, so Sharon C for 48. Thank you. Okay. 
All righty. So the next question, while I'm writing this down, in Return of the Jedi, who does Darth Vader claim is even less forgiving than him? All right. So in Return of the Jedi, who does Darth Vader claim is even less forgiving than him? Yep, no problem. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Okay, so thank you very much. I have a little collection there of flower frogs. I have three more, so. <laughs> All righty, what am I doing? Okay, let's see. All right. Well, no, I don't want to do that right away. Well, that's like literally the second number there. Okay, let's see. Um, no, I don't think so. That's not what it says. What am I looking for? Oh, okay. Okay. Now, I wasn't able to find any real comps. I haven't been able to find any comps really on the other, on this guy here, little cat. I think it's a girl. <laughs> So this is called Buyer's Choice Limited, created especially for Williamsburg, 2007. Okay, it's a cute little tiny kitty with a little bonnet and um, this little hand fan. The hand fan needs a little help, needs to just be glued back on, but super cute and adorable. And that's going to be $8, number seven. So $8, number seven for the super cute little kitty with the bonnet and a hand fan. <laughs> okay, no, it's not. No, they're not. And the buyer's choice things, oh, number seven for Nora. The buyer's choice things that people really buy are more the colonial, um, uh, People, they really, I didn't find much comps at all on this. So, okay, so. Oh, Belinda, I wonder where Belinda is today. Maybe on one of the other ones, right? Okay, so that one was. Okay, all right, yeah. Okay, so what I'll, what I'll do is, ah, there, I just saw it. Sandy Otto, the Emperor. Yes, it says the Emperor. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. I didn't say what Emperor, but it did say the Emperor. <laughs> so good. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, maybe she's resting or something. So, all right, let's see. Ah, okay. <clears throat> In the movie The Goonies. What is the name of the One-Eyed Willie's pirate ship? <laughs> All right. One-Eyed Willie's pirate ship. Now, this one reminds me of Kim <clears throat> from Oh My Vintage, but I haven't. I don't know if she's on today or not. Okay. Come here, you. All right. Yes, thank you. If you could please thumbs up and all that jazz, that would be awesome. <laughs> okay, so look at this beautiful swan. It's so tall. I'm not sure what it's for because it has this little shelf here and a super tall neck. It has a little bit of a chip here on what the flower petals, but you really, you know, you can't really tell unless you're up close and personal with it. <laughs> and this is you, you, yeah, it's U C A G C O. So, yeah, <laughs> made in Japan. So, okay, beautiful detailing on the wings and everything, and maybe a little bit of paint loss at the tip of his little top there, and on his, um, little nose but super cute 
Okay, so our super cute little swan, hello. You wanna take me home? It's gonna be $7 number nine. So $7 number nine for the beautiful swan. I don't remember the big octopus. I haven't seen that movie in so long. So the pirate, do you know what the ship, the pirate ship's name, the One-Eyed Willie's pirate ship, what was the ship's name? Okay, so $7 number nine for the beautiful swan. Okay, and the swan stands from about, let's see, little, almost seven and a half inches. So almost seven and a half inches tall. Okay. All right. If anybody um wants to let Kim know to come on over and check out this one. <laughs> All right. So let's. <clears throat> Now, with the thing with the Goonies, okay, I don't know that you guys ha have in your other states this pizza place, but in New York, we have a pizza place that's the name of this ship. So the ship's name is a pizza place here in New York. <laughs> All right, so... Okay, now I know this is probably the strangest thing I found at a girl or at an estate sale, but I just thought it was so cool. It's a like an advertising piece, and I'm it's so tiny I might not even find it. Oh my goodness! Oh, there it is. Okay, so if I thought it was kind of interesting, and if you like this for you know old advertising, this is the tiny, tiny little salt substitute it's called slim et salt substitute for salt free diets so it's so tiny made in new jersey it doesn't even give a year and it there's actually still salt substitute in it but i just thought the graphics were super cute okay and this one's actually going to be three dollars so three dollars Number 43. Isn't that kind of cute? I don't, I wouldn't suggest using it, but it would be nice for display. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Nora, you got any ideas? It's a pizza place in here in New York is the name of the um the goon or the ship <laughs> all right so let's go to the next one okay so now this is another one it's gorgeous and i picked this up in an estate sale and I just love these cups. They are beautiful. <laughs> okay, do you guys want me to give you the answer? Yay, I finally got one just stumped you guys. I'm sorry. I just, some of the other ones were super easy. So if you want me to tell you the answer, let me know. Yes, okay. It's called the Inferno, but there's actually a place here the Kraken, yes, <laughs> that would be cool. No, it's called the Inferno. And there is an actual uh, pizza place called Inferno Pizza here in New York. <laughs> so, all right, I'll get one prepared. Oh, oh, now this one's too easy. All right, I'll go, we'll do this first and then I'll, this one, everybody knows, I think. So, <clears throat> It's this beautiful teacup and saucer set. It is roses and gold around, okay? Has that iridescent, lustery look to it, okay? Beautiful handle, almost like a shape of a heart there. It is original Napco China, hand-painted. 
Oh, well, sorry. Okay. Now, the <clears throat> I think what's even better is the plate that goes with it. I'm going to put the cup down so I don't drop it. <laughs> but isn't that gorgeous? It's a beautiful pink, like a pink and purple and gold. And it also says Napco here. <clears throat> so it's a beautiful set, teacup set. Oh, and it is footed. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful set. This beautiful set is going to be $10 number. Whoa. I don't know what. I, <laughs> whew. You guys probably did not see that, but I hit some button and I went. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. So $10 number 13 for the um, teacup and saucer set. So $10 number 13. Is near my house or your house? There might be more than one, but $10 number 13. <clears throat> okay, everybody's going to get this one. What model vehicle is modified to become the time traveling machine in Back to the Future? That should be an easy one. <laughs> All right, let's yes the delorean yeah that one was easy i we i knew everybody was gonna get that one but okay so now we have our second flower frog and this one is exactly um the same as the other one except it's orange so it's a beautiful orange color here beautiful okay and it's pretty good condition um don't see any chips or anything nope so the beautiful orange flower frog which looks ex is exactly like the clear one except it's orange is five dollars Number 50. So five dollars. Ooh, she's okay. Five dollars number 50. <clears throat> okay, Carrie Ann for number 50. And I haven't forgotten about you, Carrie Ann. A store oh. I had gotten your package all packaged up and I totally forgot a piece and I'm like oh I will add this to that and your other stuff and be getting invoices very soon Okay, this is going back. Al Pacino plays which character in the 1983 film Scarface? So Al Pacino plays what character in the 1983 film Scarface? So, oh, hi, G, J, J, Gordon. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. All right. So let's see which one this is. Oh, well, friends, we have our first piece of, yes, Gina, you got it. Yes, you got it. Okay. So we have our green depression glass so this is another offer up okay it's a beautiful green dish I'm trying to get to it here okay so look at this beautiful divided three 
section dish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the starting price and then I'm going to go over and turn the light off and glow it up like our little glow worm glow. <laughs> so you got it right. It was Tony Montana. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to start this at $12. Okay. Once that pops up, I know, and I'm still, I know, like, <laughs> my bifocals are a pain in the butt. They're not doing what I want them to. Okay, so it starts at $12. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over and turn the light out. Oh, the question was. Al Pacino played which character in the 1983 film Scarface? Tony Montana. Okay, so give me one minute. And <laughs> no problem. If, um, if you want to, uh, I especially ask for you to, you know, give me your information if you want to bid on a, um, offer up so okay so let me go turn off the, the light i'll be right back and yes guys i'm in a tank top and shorts because i'm a hot mama today <laughs> even though it's cold outside <laughs> yell a little louder okay thank you okay you ready guys here we go All right, here we have our beautiful little glowing glow worm, right? Okay. So is anybody interested in the green depression glass? Oh, there we go, Carrie Ann. It's, it glows okay, right? I'm trying to watch my phone and... Um, all right, so, so far we have Carrie Ann for 12. Yes, it is beautiful. Great condition, okay. Love the details, it's very detailed here with like, um, almost like drapery, you know, kind of like the fancy drapery kind of stuff and it's on the handles and everything, okay. So, so far we have Carrie Ann for 12. Does anybody want to do 13? I think I did a much better job taking a picture of it for Instagram yesterday. <laughs> Okay, so um, anybody else want to do 13? It is very pretty. And it is footed here. You know, it has the three little feet here. And great condition. I don't feel anything, you know, chips or cracks or anything. So, okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is call it for Gina, or Car where did I get Gina? I'm sorry. I know Gina's here, but I meant Carrie Ann. So, okay, so I'm going to call it going once for Carrie Ann. Five, four, three, two, one. Going twice for Carrie Ann at 12. Five, four, three, two one okay sold to carrie ann for twelve dollars looking good all righty congratulations carrie ann all right so i'm gonna put that in there first i'm gonna hit stop okay all right and then we'll do sold 
Mary Ann for $12. Okay, so, all right. Well, just to, for reference, you don't really need it. It's number 35. Whoa. Number 35. Whoops. Okay. Um, I'm sorry to be a pain, but could somebody turn the light back on? <laughs> I'm sorry. There you go. Thank you. Okay. All right. So there we go. Woo. All right. Congratulations, Carrie Ann. Okay. What else do we have? All right, so here's one more. Um, I don't want that one. That one's sad. Okay. Okay, that one we know is pretty easy. Let's see. Oh, here's one you might not. I don't know if you've seen this one. In the movie Airplane, why are the pilots unable to fly the plane? So in the movie Airplane, why are the pilots unable to fly the plane? Okay. All righty, let's see what we have next. Okay, this is a very cute little statue. And it, oops, it is this tiny little girl and a kitty. Well, I meant the girl and the tiny kitty. <laughs> oh come on now oh boy well here you go guys get your extra extra things out we have more stuff hey belinda there you are did you hear your ears ringing we were talking about you we had something that we think you might have liked i can't remember what it is but <laughs> so we have the girl sewing and her tiny little kitty it is a Lefton, the Christopher Collection, Lord Bless Our Work, 1982. There, so very cute. Yes. Oh, with a kitty, yes. I have a few kitties today. So it's a little kitty watching the little girl do her embroidery. So very cute. Yes, yep. <laughs> But I do have many more kitties, well, not maybe many, but a couple more kitties. There we go. So this beautiful little kitty set and her human is $9 number one. <clears throat> so $9 number one for the kitty and her human. <laughs> the, the human and the kitty, the girl, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Belinda Carroll, number one. Hi, D. Welcome. I want to let you know, I don't know if you saw it on your sale yesterday, D, but my husband, we got the snake thing and he loves it. It's very cool. All right. So Belinda got number one. Congratulations, Belinda. No worries, Nora. There's still a couple more kitties. All right. Thank you. All right. So, yes, he really enjoyed it. And you did a great job gluing the head back on because it was, I had to look twice to see. <laughs> so he thought it was kind of cute. So thank you very much. Okay. So thank you, Belinda. All right. So we are doing the 80s movie of trivia. Okay. And the cool thing about these trivia cards is they look like VHS tapes. So the question is, in the movie Airplane, why are the pilots unable to fly the plane? Okay, and I did say that there would be another kitty, and here it is. This is, which you don't see very often from Princess House, um, this is usually the glass ones. This is the kitty. Let's see. It's Princess House Kitten and Hedgehog made in the United Kingdom exclusively for Princess House. So 
So it's this cute little brown kitty and a brown hedgehog. Okay. Yes, Barbley got it. Ding, ding. The pilots had food poisoning. You're right. Thank you. Okay. So this cute little kitty and a hedgehog. Um, really, the only thing is this maybe a little bit of paint loss up here on his little tip of his ear. So great condition. So cute. Little kitty and a hedgehog. Interesting combination, but you never know. <laughs> okay. So these little, cute little kitty and hedgehog are going to be $9 number six. <laughs> it is a very funny movie, the airplane movie, yes. Nine dollars, number six for the hedgehog and the kitten. The other one I love or the loved was the Police Academy movies. <laughs> Those were fun. Yep, it's a kitty, a kitten, and a hedgehog. Nine dollars, number six. Okay, it kind of yeah, sort of looks like a fox, but nope, it's a it's a kitten and. It says kitten and a hedgehog at the bottom, and it is Princess House, which is kind of interesting because we usually have those other kinds. All right. Now, I've not seen this movie either, but in Hannah and her sister, what are the sisters called? Not seen this one. Hi, Judy, Handmade Creation. So, Hannah and her sisters, what are her sisters called? Okay. So let's see what we have. Oh, we have our first triple T. So triple T is totally tubular treasures, which is my just my two dollar sale. But kid of the eighties, I thought, why not? So and hopefully, pretty soon, I'm hoping to order some merch. So I will get some and then show you what it looks like. And then her sisters. Oh my goodness, yeah, Vinny. <laughs> So this cute little thing is a cute little kitty cat on a Hallmark box. It's box. Ugh. It's only the box. Ugh. So it's an empty box. And it's Hallmark cards, but it doesn't give the date. And it does say angels on here. And there's a little bit of a rip here. But other than that, what? <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Oh, come on. We're not starting the peekaboo already. I haven't used this stupid thing in like four days. What the heck? It wants us to have a peekaboo one. We need a peekaboo shirt, right? Ugh. No, Lynn. No, the kitty cat with the hedgehog, hedgehog is still available. Yes, peekaboo, I see you. So this cute little vintage kitty box, it's just the box, was Hallmark cards inside. Triple T, $2, number 10. So triple T. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, no, it, Vinny, the one, we were, the one sale I had, I was asking for wrong answer. You know what I mean? Like, give me stuff that, um, so I don't swear because it was peekabooing me to crazy. Oh, you missed that was funny. Okay, so Belinda Carroll, you got number 10. And Lynn, I will put you down for the hedgehog and the kitty. All right, so let me write that down and drop my black light on the floor. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's see. So number 10 was Belinda. All right, and let me see. The kitten and the hedgehog was Lynn. All right, thank you. All right, got those both written down. Oh, I could imagine. Yeah, this, it is. But, oh, yes, Lynn, it was number six, $9, number six. Oh, I, I really don't know because, like, sometimes if I bump my computer, because my computer does that, but I don't know. Maybe it's, what is it, the retrograde or something? <laughs> They're always saying that the Earth is in retrograde now. So is that still cool? Lynn, did you still want it? 
Number six for nine dollars. Okay. So, any idea about Hannah's sister's names? Okay. So, thank you for that. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure. All righty. So, let's take from the box number three. Ah, okay. So, now. I'm just going right, right through with all these little kitty items. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure this is a kitty. If this is not a kitty, then it's got to be a doggy, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's from Japan, made in Japan. It's a single shaker. <laughs> okay. So, um. Oh, right, right. <laughs> The Banger Sisters? Nope. <laughs> so this little cutie uh, I, looks to me like a cat, but those ears, maybe it is a dog. I don't know, because they seem a bit long for cat ears. So the, the kitty dog, right? Cat dog? <laughs> Anybody remember that cartoon? I don't think that's an 80s cartoon, but cute little bow, flowers. Cute little flower on his little tushy or its tail. And it um, was a shaker because you can see the holes. There's stopper is actually on the inside. And this little sticker does say made in Japan. So this little cutie or a bunny. Yo, that's true too. Okay. I didn't think of that. But whatever it is, cat, dog, bunny. <laughs> now we sound like that commercial, that map, right? Uh, what was that baby monkey something? <laughs> um, so our unique critter is $4 number three. So the cute little critter is number three for $4. <laughs> okay. Bunny sounds good. Okay, there you go. So cute little bunny. All right, Belinda for number three. Thank you. Okay, so, all right, so let you know that Hannah and her sisters, her sisters were called Lee and Holly. I don't think so. It's a, it doesn't say that it is. And then it's just a salt, it's a salt shaker or pepper shaker. So I don't think so. It says made in Japan. That's all it says. So I don't know, but... So Hannah's sisters were Lee and Holly. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna shake up the box and see what we have. Okay. Oh, okay. Where'd you go? There you are. So if you know anybody getting married soon, we have this adorable little mouse proposing to the, kitty, the lady mouse. <laughs> it says, Charming Tales, I have a question for you. Now, what I didn't realize is that, because it said FFSC, this is actually Fitz and Floyd, but it's not really as popular as you think. So I don't know. But I still think it's adorable. It's a cute little man mouse, manly mouse, <laughs> with a big ring asking the lady mouse. Okay, so super cute there. Um, so if you know anybody getting married or perfect time of year for a little gift like this. So this cutie is going to be $12, number five. So $12. Number five, for the cute little mice, I have a question for you. <laughs> okay. All righty. So let's see. Let's get another trivia question. Oh, uh, well, all right. that one I think would be a little too easy. 
how many children do Bob and Cindy Russell have in the movie Uncle Buck? Ah, number five for Belinda. Thank you. So in the movie Uncle Buck, how many kids does Bob and Cindy Russell have? Okay, thank you, Belinda. All right, so let's keep moving along here because we got 50 items today. Yes, I'm a little crazy. Uh-oh, welcoming committee. Oh, and we have a guest to the welcoming committee today. All right, so. Ah, uh, yes. Vinny, I think, got it first. It looks like uh, three children. Yes. Vinny, you got it. All right, so let's do this next one. Where is the... Okay, we have our... Oh, boy. Oh, this may take a little finagling here, so... Actually, you know what? I will. Um, I'll do another trivia question because this next item is going to, it's underneath some stuff. Uh, well, that one's too easy, I think. Okay. In the movie Desperately Seeking Susan, which Egyptian queen did the stolen earrings once belong to? Yes, the one that just ran by, you heard the little feet, that was Lady. Um, and we have Lady and Buddy, who we call our welcoming committee. And this weekend, we have a guest of Sheba. Let me make sure this is the right one. Yes. Okay. So, no, it is not Cleopatra. All right. Look at that, Vinny. You are right on the money there. <laughs> okay. All right. So, the first, this is, I have two pieces of, um, yeah, cheap music. So, the first piece is, says, Carolina Sunshine. Very pretty. Carolina Sunshine, the beautiful woman there. It's like a light blue and almost orange flowers. Okay. Ah, Nora got it. Nefertiri. Yes, you got it. Nefertiri. Okay, so very beautiful. It's a little bit of rough condition on the side. It's a little rough on the sides. And, um, so I don't know if you'd want to just like frame the picture. It's from, I think, I looked this up yesterday. Okay, here's a quiz. M-C-M-X-I-X. M-C-M-X-I-X. -X. Well, there you go. All right, so there's another, there's our other question. I know the time frame, but I figured I would put it out there. So. All right, Cal, Cal, or Carolina Sunshine by Walter Hirsch. So, all right. I'm pretty sure that's the, yeah, yep, 1919, because the other one is a little later, or, uh, yeah. So, did anybody get the, <laughs> who was it? Was it Kelly, or somebody did a video about it? I can't remember who it was. But. Okay, so very pretty. It has beautiful, um, you know, stains, graphics, you know, patina. <laughs> That's not the right one. but So looking pretty good. And it's the sheet music. It has been taped back together, but it's okay. So you can use it for ephemera. Or frame it or use the frame this, use the other for ephemera. And then, of course, we have, oh, what a girl is the other one. So this is going to be uh, $6, number 36. $6, number 36 for Carolina Sunshine Sheet Music. All right.
All right, anybody for that? Okay, all right. So <clears throat> let's keep moving along because I got a lot here today. Let's see, what is that? Ah, uh, 36 for Sharon. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's see. Okay, so we have some now i can't officially say tanala because it doesn't say that on the bottom of the mug but it sure looks like it <clears throat> so the movie vibes no that one i don't remember i don't remember that movie so this is a beautiful brown and blue mug now it says I have no clue. I don't know. It's supposed to be look, it's to me it looks like Amex, but it maybe it says I, I don't know. A Mexico, I don't know. <laughs> but it is very much representative of Tanala. So it's brown and blue. So would I was going to do this as we can do it as an offer up or a buy it now. So what would we like? Offer up or buy it now. It is a very beautiful mug. It's glazed on the inside and the out. Um, the glazing on the inside is kind of strange, but <laughs> so I don't know if you'd want to drink out of it, but it looks, you know, good condition. So that's what I was thinking. Yeah, so it might have been Mexico. So I don't know if it can, because it doesn't actually say Tanala. So would we like to do an offer up on this or a buy it now? So, okay, so what do you think? Buy it now or offer up? Buy it now. Okay, offer up. Oh boy. Okay, so I need a tiebreaker. <laughs> so I've got one buy it now and one offer up. So I need a tiebreaker. Okay, so we got to buy it now. There's the tiebreaker. Okay, so, oh, no, now we got another offer up. <laughs> oh, no, okay, well, let's see. One, two. All right, well, we've actually got more buy it nows than offer ups. So I'll have to do a buy it now. Okay, so get your fingers ready. You ready? So, <clears throat> The beautiful Mexican cup is going to be $10, number 17. $10, number 17. You see me? $10, number 17. Lynn Hampton for 17. Okay, thank you. All right, so we have, what was the name of the mechanical fortune teller in Big? In the movie Big, what was the name of the mechanical fortune teller? All right, so put this one in there. All right, 
Okay. Let's keep on moving along. Yes, there you go. Jewel, Julie S. Zoltar. Awesome. Okay. All righty. Let's see. Okay. So now we have a unique flower frog. It is not glass like the other ones. Not sure what it's made out of. <laughs> so I can't, it's like almost like stone or something, but it is a green flower frog, sort of green and brown. It has this brown tone at the bottom. No markings of who, who makes it or anything. So I don't know. It's very unique. I haven't seen one. Well, no, I can't say that. I have seen one like this before. Just a different color. Okay. So. Oh, I don't want to drop it on the computer. So this is going to be $6, number 46. So $6, number 46 for the flower frog. That's green. And it is, let's see. Oh, <laughs> nothing like pulling your tape measure out of your butt. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> um, it is three inches across. Okay. And look at this. I am prepared. I have my trusty little... Um, they have a new doggy door and they do not like it. So it's like, come on, get your butt in here. All right, so let's see how much it weighs. Okay, it weighs 7.8 ounces. So 7.8 ounces for the, for the flower frog. So $6, number 46. Well, my problem is, is that I'm having trouble with my hand, my left hand, so I don't want to hold stuff for too long because I'll drop it. <laughs> my hand says, nope, we're done. Goodbye. And I don't think I want to drop it on top of my, um, my, on the computer, because then it would be goodbye, computer. See you later. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. No, no takers on the flower part. That is okay. All right, so we got that answer to that question. Let's see. Oh, here's one. Okay, how many police academies were made in the 80s? So how many police academies movies were made? Now, the funniest part of the ones that I remember is the one time that they put glue in that one sergeant's shampoo, and he's trying to wash his hair, and then he's glued to himself, and he, oh, that part was hilarious. Okay, all right. Oh. <sighs> okay. No. No Barb, no D, and no Nora. <laughs> the closest one is D. D, you are the closest. You get too many, yes. <laughs> it's like those Fast and the Furious ones. They're getting up there too, aren't they? But I love those movies. Don't get me wrong about that. I do love them. <laughs> okay, so we have um, another brooch. This is one I've had um before but it didn't sell it's a cute little lizard brooch a cute little like turquoise looking rhinestone i think or little gem there super cute not too bad can't really tell the writing on the back so super tiny it's um well not super tiny let's see uh measures um a little over one and a half inches. So this little cutie, little lizard pin there is six dollars number forty one. Six <laughs> six dollars number forty one. Okay. Yeah, we're up to nine of those movies now. Okay. All right, so 
how many police academy movies were made in the 80s? There were six. Six police academy movies. Okay. All right. So for all your thriller people out there, not not you know Michael Jackson's thriller, but from which thriller does the term bunny boiler come from? So which thriller movie does the term bunny boiler come from? Oh, Belinda Carroll, 41. Okay, let me get that for you. I can find the pen. All right, thank you. Okay, friends, here we go. All right. Here is for fair warning. Let everybody know we are doing the pink. Fairy lamp next. Pink fairy lamp coming up. I want to get some things ready. So make sure you're refreshed. Make sure you're in live chat, not top chat. Okay. So we're going to try this today. So, all right. So give yourself a few minutes to get ready or a couple seconds. All right, yes, definitely thumbs up, all that good stuff. But now we are going to do the pink fairy lamp. If you know anybody that wants, likes fairy lamps and stuff, tell them to come on over. <clears throat> okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, exactly. Hey, Mom, can you help with the light again? Sorry. Okay. Okay, guys, bring on the lamp, right? Okay, what I'm actually going to do is try to light a candle without burning myself. Okay, whoa, hello. Okay, wait a minute. Come on. Thank you. I know. Oh, I do have the fan going. <laughs> Somebody tell Randy to come on over. Okay. So here we. Can you see it? Isn't that pretty? Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Yes, anybody, tell Randy to come on over, right? Okay. What I'm actually going to do is <laughs> ask my mommy to come back. <laughs> yes, please. It is pretty. Yes, Barbara, uh, fatal attraction. You're right. Okay, so very pretty. Uh, but I'm going to turn the light back on so that we, or my mother in law is. Thank you very much. So I'm actually going to blow out the candle. Maybe. Okay, so I have another fairy lamp, and the candle will do that one even more justice. Trust me, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's get this started. If you want, if someone wants to message Randy, that would be awesome. I don't know if she has this one in her collection or not. Okay, so let me put the price in to start. Okay. All right. Now this one's going to be up there a little bit because it's, you know, not too bad. But the starting price is going to be $20. Okay. So when that comes up. Um, all right. So the way an offer up works is you, I put in a starting price and then you bid up or you um, offer up from there. Sorry. So, I did drop a little bit of wax, but they'll come right off here. Okay. All right. So, here's the beautiful. It's a pink frosted glass with these beautiful flowers. The flowers here, they look like transfers. They do not look like um, 
hand painted. So the way if you look at them, they look like a transfer. So beautiful pink frosted. Okay. See, now here I'm having a Bueller moment because <laughs> I don't see anybody bidding on it, but okay. Um, I'll try. All right, and then we have the beautiful pink base. Now, it does remind you of the Westmoreland shape, so I'm not sure if it is. It doesn't have the sticker, but it is very beautiful. Okay. Anybody here? What happened? Very strange. Bueller? <laughs> Anybody? No? Nobody wants the pink fairy lamp. Very strange, guys. Okay. Oh, there we go. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Very strange. Okay, D. Okay. I don't know, but so far D's got it for 20. Um I don't know. Does anybody know if Randy has this, you know? Right? Well, <laughs> I just was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, well, it is very beautiful. It's the beautiful pink frosted glass. And, um, you know, so pretty. I love it. Hmm? Anyone want to do 21? And it has the beautiful pink roses and greenery all the way around. And I don't feel any chips or cracks or anything around the sides or anything or the base. Okay. Yeah, I think I don't, Randy Heilman usually doesn't get or doesn't come on my sales. But I know, right? <laughs> so, so far we have $20. Would anyone like to do 21 Yeah, right. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so. No, anybody else want to do 21? I'll refresh, but let's see. Um, well, I think I'm going to call it. Because I still have a lot more to get through. So, okay, going once for D, thrill of the thrift for 20. Five, four, three, two, one. Going twice at 20 for D. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Sold to D Thrill of the Thrift for $20. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to type in stop. All righty. Okay. So, and so we'll sell. It's sold. We got a great price for that. Okay. Sold to. I'm going to put D and I'm going to put Thrill of the Thrift. Okay, for $20. All right, congratulations. And just for reference, you don't really need to know, uh, but number 19. So there you go, $20 D from Thrill of the Thrift. And girlfriend, if you can sell it for higher on your 
sale, one of your sales, go for it. That would be awesome. All right, so let me write that down so I don't forget. Okay. Okay, awesome. Congratulations, D. You got an awesome deal on that fairyland. Okay. All right, so we're going to switch it up here. Going to put that fairy lamp over there and bring my water back over here. Whew, lots of goodies. Okay. Yeah, a great price. So if you don't want to keep this or don't want to give it away, sell it on your sale. <laughs> Okay, so actually it's kind of funny because this is the next thing. If we know anybody that's in Michigan or likes Native Americans, um, I have this very cute little Michigan mug, very tiny. No uh, writing on the bottom to who it is. No chips or cracks. Okay, it stands. Let me see. Where did my... Okay, it stands... Is that a, oh, I don't know if that was a, a, oh my goodness thing or a, you know, mouth, zippered mouth, whatever. <laughs> okay, so it's a little over two inches tall and about, yeah, about a one and a half inches across. So cute little mug, $3, number 18. So $3, number 18. Okay. Okay, let's see how that one does. All right, so let's get okay. Well, now this is another movie I've not seen. At the end of Say Anything, Diane Court travels to what country to take up her fellowship? So, Say Anything is the movie. Diane Court travels to which country to take up her fellowship? I don't know what that means, but that's okay. All right. So, whew. we're moving right along here, guys, because we got a lot. I have 50 things today, right? Okay. Actually, D, perfect timing because I have uh, not France. No. I have these very nice leather Niagara Falls, Canada um, coasters. Now, this says July 1967 on the back. And I'll take them out to show you. There's four of them. And they do come in this little package, but you know, it's not totally... Um, sealed so you can look nope not ireland but close barb you're in the right area <laughs> so these are like leather coasters and they are niagara falls canada okay all right this one's blue so they all have blue and then red on the back Okay. Okay. You're close, Barb. It's still that same area, but there's one big one left. Okay. And then the fourth one. So they're all Niagara Falls. So you get four leather coasters, and they do come in their package. Ten dollars, number twenty-five. Yes, Carrie Owens, England. So $10, number 25 for the four vintage coasters from this. There's plastic, like a plastic coating here, and then they're leather on the back. Oops. So $10, number 25. Now, it says that she went to England. I never saw the movie either. So, <laughs> um, so. all right. So there's that. If you were interested in the coasters. Okay, so let's keep going. 
Oh, now this, guys, this is so cute. Now, this is a planter, so it does have planter schmutz on the bottom or inside. Isn't this so cute? It is a little lion planter. I'm not saying it's just got dirt at the bottom. It doesn't have a maker's mark or anything who made it on the bottom. It does have these sort of little um, things. They don't work too well anymore. I don't know. They've been squashed pretty well. <laughs> But isn't that so cute? It's like a, almost like a terracotta, like, but it's not. I don't know. Clay, maybe? Clay? I don't really know. I'm thinking you would probably have to put, I really don't know. It just came like this. <laughs> maybe a plant in a planter thingy. I don't know. But it's so cute. Look at those eyes. And then the little butt and all that good stuff and little paws and everything. He's going to be $5, number 27. $5, number 27. Don't you want to bring me home? <laughs> okay. And if you want me to check his height and everything, let me know. But $5, number 27. Okay. All right. So we're not doing too bad. Ah, okay. Oh, 27 for D. Okay, thank you. I thought that lion planter was so cute. All right, thank you, D. Okay. All right. In National Lampoon's Vacation, what is the name of the amusement park they are heading to? Okay. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, didn't they get there and it was closed? Okay. So, <laughs> I have a piece of art glass here, and strange as it is, it's a red pepper. Yes, Wally World. Yes. That, <laughs> that definitely, if you've seen that one, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this is a very beautiful art glass red pepper. Okay? Doesn't have any markings or stickers or anything to say where it came from, but it's just gorgeous. This one is going to be an offer up. Okay? So. I'm going to start this one out. It's going to start at $10. I know, right? That's what we call Walmart. Yeah. Okay. That's what we call Walmart here in New York, too. Okay. So we're going to start. And it's going to start at $10. So let's see. Once that gets in there, we will... Um, so, now I don't know if you guys, like in New York here, in a, especially in Albany, we actually have a two-story Walmart. And you have to either get on the escalator or the elevator to go between the two floors. I don't know if anybody else has a Walmart like that. But, okay, so we have this red pepper, okay? Beautiful art glass. Doesn't say who made it, but um, has a beautiful, the green top to the pepper and everything. So, is anybody interested in the beautiful art glass pepper? Starting at, oh yes. Ellis escalators are not so much fun. That's why they have elevators, I think, too. <laughs> so. Is anybody interested in the pepper, the beautiful red pepper, glass, red pepper? Let's see. Oh, yep, it's a two-story Walmart. Yep, it's, it's in Albany, New York. Okay, so our little green or red pepper is six inches tall and about four inches across. Yep. And we actually had somebody, 
one time try to put to use one of those those carts those automatic carts to get on the escalator or, or no not the escalator itself but the the cart thing so this yeah so we have this escalator and between the two parts you can stick your um cart in this thing and it goes up and um oh so it goes up which is kind of interesting and this one person was trying to do that with the the cart <laughs> it's like what are you doing <laughs> But we get an interesting group of people there. So, so is anybody interested in the red pepper? Yeah, the cart lift thingy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if anybody wants to, um, you know, think about the pepper. And uh, we'll come back to that then. Okay. So let's keep moving along because we're getting close to the two hour mark. Ugh, I'm not asking that one. Sorry. I wanna I wanna ask happy ones, not oh boy, okay. In the movie Labyrinth, what is the name of Sarah's brother? Who was taken by the Goblin King? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now, this is a strange little doll here. <laughs> I, only, I only say it's a strange doll. It's a very pretty doll. But Toby, there you go. Well, that was quick. I knew that somebody would get that right away, right? All right. So let's try one more. Ah, in the movie Trading Places, how much does the winner of the bet receive? Now, you, I don't know if anybody remembers Trading Spaces. If I'm not mistaken, it had Dan Aykroyd and what's his face? Um, I can't think of his name. <sighs> Well, Dan Aykroyd and the other guy trade places, but I can't think of his name. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is called a Bradley doll, and it's a Bradley, John Belushi, is it John Belushi? Oh, I thought it was the other one. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, Eddie Murphy, there you go, yes. Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy and Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes. Okay. And so there's a bet, I think, between the two old guys. And then, um, but how much was the, how much did the, the winner get? Okay. So it's a cute little prairie type doll. Has that, um, that weird kind of face. You know, it's not plastic and it's sort of, Look, feels like material, but I don't know. It's weird. But the weird thing about this one says, embroidered, it says, I need you. <laughs> so I don't get that. That's kind of strange to me, but right. One dollar, Trisha, great. You got it. Okay, so her little hoop skirt needs a little help. Her little bustle in the back is <laughs> a little misshapen there. Okay, so this is going to be eight dollars number 29. So the cute little prairie girl that needs you, she really needs you. <laughs> so $8, number 29. She even says it right on her dress. I need you. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, okay, that is just a might bit weird, but I guess it's okay. You're right. Trisha, you got it. One dollar. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> ah, here we go. This is a beautiful little kitchen sign, and um, it's. I'm thinking it's either Dutch or German. Uh, no markings on the back or anything. It says food should be cooked 
with lots of I don't know if it's supposed to be love, lub, it says lub and lots of bubbler. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure. See, it's very, very pretty, has the whole up top, but the words down here at the bottom with lots of, see, I don't know. <laughs> but it's very nice, you know, for the kitchen. It is about, let's see. Just shy of nine inches across. So this beautiful little um, cooking kitchen sign here is $6 number 21. So $6 number 21 for the beautiful kitchen sign. Yeah, I know, right? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. So, um, $6, number 21. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be love and bubbler, like beer, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's get another one here. Oh, in the movie Heathers, how many Heathers are there in total? All right, so the movie Heathers. Okay. Oh, let's say bouncing over here. Oh, okay, so a bubbler is a Midwestern term, term for water fountain. Yes, you're right, Sharon, three Heathers. That was an interesting and creepy movie all at the same time. <clears throat> My girl, Winona Ryder, was awesome in that movie. And I can't wait till Stranger Things 4 comes out to see her again. <laughs> okay, so if the 60s or 70s was your vibe, um, let's see. Oh, no. Well, I just realized that. Well, maybe we might be going down a little bit on that one. Um. Uh, the price I'm at. <laughs> this book is. <laughs> it is holiday cards for you to make. But look at these colors. It is so 70s, 60s, 1960s, 70s. Now, what I realize is it's probably going to have to go down um, at least to. Um, at least down by a dollar or something because look at that somebody took out like three or four pages I didn't realize but the graphics are awesome and it tells you how to make different you know like a potato or a lithium so really awesome yes I can't wait stranger things I can't wait till they come out with the next one so like have to binge watch all the other seasons before the other one comes so we can remember stuff right so I'm actually going to drop this down a dollar. So this is going to be $3, number 45. $3, number 45 for the Vintage Holiday Cards for You to Make book. And I think it was a library book because it has the library um, <clears throat> cards in the back. Okay, Sharon C. for number 45. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So let's see what's next. And of course, of course, we love Stranger Things, right? Because it's set in the six or the eighty, the sixties, set in the. <laughs> Set in the 80s. Oh my goodness. Going a little cuckoo over here. All right, let's see. <sighs> All right. Okay, so we have this cute little mug. 
Oh, yes. Netflix. If you have Netflix, Stranger Things is very sci-fi, 80s. It has the one guy from Goonies in it. And Bob, poor Bob. And um, all sorts of, oh, very sci-fi. Very, um, if you heard of the Montauk, Montauk, Montauk Project, it's very, you know, tele telepathic stuff. It's really awesome, I think. But we have this nice father mug. You know, Father's Day's coming up. So it says, Father, warm, wise, loving, strong, who first taught me right from wrong. And on the bottom, it says, made for Treasure Masters Japan. So nice little father mug. It, I don't, it's just a regular mug. It's not like a, you know, shaving mug or anything. So it's going to be $4, number 49. $4, number 49 for the vintage looking father mug. Okay, all right, so here we are up to an offer up, and if you've seen it behind me here, okay, so we have this beautiful afghan that's behind me. All right, it is white and brown and yellow and pink. It's um, 62 by 52, so it's pretty big, okay. So I'm going to start this at, oh, yes, Hot Topic had merch. I'm not sure if they're bringing it back out because, you know, the season, but, oh, me too. Me too, Barb. <laughs> so, you know, if you know anybody else that needs, has a, you know, someone that could use it for their father. Yep, mine, mine is in heaven too. Okay, so what we're going to do is start this. Now it's going to start at $15, okay? So we have this beautiful afghan. All right, it's this very great, nice stitching here. And um, it is brown and white and... Oops. So brown, white, yellow, and then there's a little bit of pink hanging out at the other end. So yes, yep, all those those places, Hot Topic, Fye, Spencer's, yep, they may be bringing it back out because of the um, hopefully the release pretty soon of the new one. So anybody interested? It's a beautiful Afghan. Especially on these cold days over here in the Northeast. <laughs> like, what are you doing? It's supposed to be warm and sunny. And so, any takers? $15. If we don't want to do an offer up, we can do a straight out $15. The double stitch here, it is pretty. So, it's a beautiful double stitch. It has the stripes of brown, yellow, and then pink at the end. Okay, so hi Maria Ladybug, welcome. <clears throat> so you, we can either do an offer up at 15 or a straight out buy it now $15. And again, it's 62 by 52. All right, welcome Maria Ladybug. So any takers? Yes, yes, I could do that. I could binge watch that entire show in one day. I binge watch season three in one day, so <laughs> I can do it. All right, maybe not a whole one day for the whole series, but maybe a weekend. Okay, so any takers on the Afghan today? Okay, let's see, go once, go on twice. Okay, time to move on. All right. 
So we shall move on from that one. Okay, no problem. All right, let's see what we have next. Okay, so we have this very beautiful, unique um, blue, we're calling it the blue Japanese flower dish. Wait a minute, wrong one. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, goodness. We're still alive over here. There we go. Nobody was harmed in the moving of that item. I was like, oh, gotta check. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So I was wrong. I grabbed the wrong one. This is a very nice little, like, shallow dish kind of. Um, oblong um is blue a very nice dark blue well dark er blue and a light blue in the middle and these beautiful blue flowers and i it doesn't say japanese but it, they look like the japanese flowers um nothing too bad on the back it's got a couple little nicks there on the back but it's a beautiful dish you could use it for you know like your jewelry or something okay this cute little dish is $6, number 31. So $6, number 31. Beautiful flowers. Okay. $6, number 31. Okay. Yes, please, definitely thumbs up. All that good stuff. Okay. What is the, or what nickname does Samantha use to introduce Ted at the dance in 16 Candles? So 16 Candles, what nickname does Samantha use to introduce Ted at the dance? Okay, let's see what we have here. Whoa, get back here. Okay, friends, here is the second fairy lamp coming at you. So let's get prepared for this one. This one is very pretty as well. Okay, so we got to do a little moving around of stuff. Okay, so this one is a little bit different. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, that was a glitch in the matrix. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> <clears throat> I think that was the other guy's name that said that, but um, no. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to light the candle here. If it'll stay lit. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you the candle. I don't know if it's going to show up the way we want it to. No, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Hey, Mom. Sorry to be a pain. <laughs> Yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> so my mother-in-law is going to turn off the light again because it doesn't, The you need to have the light off to do it justice. So, so one second there. When it, I got to wait. Okay. So, whoa. Back it up a little bit. Okay, can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? There's a bit of a lag. In there. All right, can you see how beautiful that is? <clears throat> okay, all right, so we're going to turn the light back on. Thank you. 
All right. It is very beautiful. It has the flowers that go all around it. Okay. It is more of like that bisque kind. It's um <laughs> okay. And it has like these roses around the side. Hi. Hi, Angela Marks. Very welcome. Thank you very much. Glad that you could stop by and say hi. And um, <clears throat> I was telling them once we settle things that I'll be um, working on getting the merch and stuff. So that'll be coming soon. So it is has a glaze on the inside, okay? But the outside is very much that bisque, and so is this. Okay, so <clears throat> all right, look at that. So Carrie Ann has put in for 16 already. Look at that. Okay, did I put it in? I don't remember if I did, but okay. <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna start it at 15. So you're already ahead of the game. Whoops, helps if you take your hand off of the. <laughs> all right, so Carrie Ann has put in for 16 already. Okay, so do we have a 17? I'm going to only, I'm going to take them apart because I don't want to drop them. I don't trust my left hand. <clears throat> and um, very beautiful. The roses on the side. Yep, I'm going to be doing that pretty soon. Um, okay, very nice. Glazed on the inside. Okay, and the bisque, there's no maker's mark at the bottom. Okay. All right, does anybody want to do 17? Anyone want to try for 17? There we go. Nora for 17. All right. Oops. Where'd I go? I lost it. I lost myself. 18. Okay. I went to do something and I kicked myself right out of my own video. <laughs> okay. So Carrie Ann for 18. Looking good. Hi, Jackie. Welcome. Nora for 19. Okay. We're doing good, ladies. It's very beautiful. Okay. Welcome, Jackie. Oh, yes. Yes, it is very beautiful. When I took it on Instagram. Yeah, it turns. I don't think that the YouTube video does it justice. It is very beautiful. Okay. Carrie Ann is out. Oh, New England Thrifter. We got a little sniper there. <laughs> okay. So, Nora, do you want to do 21? Okay, there we go. Nora Shea for 21. Anyone else? So, we got Nora for 21. What do you think, New England thrifter? Oh, New England Thrifters out. Okay, so Nora Shea got it. Let's see. We'll go uh, going once for $20, $21 to Nora Shea. Five, four, three, two, one. Going twice for $21 for Nora. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Nora Shea for $21. Thank you. Yes, the Instagram picture was very, very pretty, I thought. <laughs> I, I'm, you know, I'm partial because <laughs> it's me, but that's just me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Nora. It's, you'll enjoy it very much. Okay, congratulations. So let's keep on going. 
Okay. All right. So let's keep on moving along. Okay. So the answer to that other one was what nickname does Samantha use to introduce Ted at the dance in 16 Candles? She introduces him as Farmer Ted. <laughs> I don't remember that part in the movie, but that doesn't mean much. Okay. Oh, here's an easy one. Who framed Roger Rabbit? <laughs> it's the title and everything all at once. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here we have another brooch. Now, this one is tiny, tiny. Okay, it is the, I have to like put it on a piece of paper here. Okay, it, well, I just showed it to you, but <laughs> it's going to be $6 number 42. But. Okay, it's this tiny little bouquet of blue flowers. I just turned it upside down. Okay. Well, I can tell you it's not Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> okay. All right, Sharon. Well, I just want—I don't know if it'll let me show you up close, but 42 cute little blue, um, the little blue brooch. Very cute. Oh goodness. I almost dropped stuff on myself. Okay. 42, 42. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there we go. All righty. So, let's keep going and see what we have. Ah. Oh, all right. Okay, so. Does anybody have any special kind of... Uh, dish that you make for Memorial Day and we had some other people come in um, mine is the 4th of July or the flag cake is what we call it that's my thing <laughs> okay so where did they go I just have them. okay so here we have these two little no no Okay, so we have these two um, plastic, I'm not sure, they are made in Hong Kong. <laughs> Every time I hear that, I just, Hong Kong phooey. <laughs> I don't honestly know what they say, but they're very beautiful. They're tiny little plaques, and they have this cute little hook on them. Okay, black plastic, and it says made in Hong Kong. Okay, and there are two of them, so they would come as a set. I don't honestly know what they say, so sorry about that, but, and that are there, I don't know where I got that from, <laughs> they are going to be $6, number 33, so $6, number 33, so these cute little plaques hong kong <laughs> okay who framed Ro who framed roger rabbit is judge doom judge doom framed roger rabbit <laughs> okay all righty so no takers on those all right well we're just gonna keep moving along because still got a few to go and then we always go over what we don't sell. So hope you got a drink and use the bathroom and all that good stuff. Because <laughs> we're going to be here a while. That's why the 
the art of having um, plenty of devices to watch all the different different sales, right? <laughs> All righty, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait a minute. I can't count today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We still have 12 things left. Whew. Am I in live chat? Yes, I am. I am in live chat. Did I miss something? Yes. Hi, uh, RJ. Sorry. I did, get, I did see you, but I didn't acknowledge. I'm sorry. Hi, RJ. Welcome. Okay, so let's start out with this one. Okay. Oh, let's see. So this is a very cute little, um, well, it's not really little, but it's a trinket dish. And I thought it was very unique, and that's why I picked it up. And it is a... Has butterflies and like ferns type thing and blue and all sorts of interesting painting. Nice on the inside as well. No maker's mark. So I'm thinking it's just a hand painted trinket dish. Okay. <clears throat> and this is going to be $12 for number 34. $12 number 34. It has um, butterflies and leaves or ferns around it. It has like a gold, goldish detail on the sides and on the top. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I dropped a card. <clears throat> so that's going to be $12, number 34. Beautiful trinket dish. Hide all sorts of goodies in there. Okay, so let's see another card and then another card. <laughs> what city does Daniel LaRusso and his mother move to in the Karate Kid? So what city does Daniel from the Karate Kid and his mother move to? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we have this adorable little sleeping kitty. He is Avon, 1984. Ah, nope. You got the right, you got the right state, but not the right city. Okay, Avon, 1984. And it's this cute little gray sleeping kitty. Nope, not Encino either, nope. Isn't that so cute? Little gray guy there. And he's going to be $5 number four. So cute little kitty, $5 number four. Oh, yes, I will. Yep, just a second. So $5. Oh, got it. Jackie, crafty Jackie. Right, Los Angeles. Okay, so. Cute little kitty cat, if anyone's interested. And these cards are 1980s trivia, movie trivia. And what's really cool about them is they look like little VHS tapes. So I got these. Um, <clears throat> where did I get these? I got these, I think, up in Glens Falls, New York. <laughs> so, okay. <clears throat> yes, Los Angeles. The city of Lost Angels. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do two triple T's right next to each other. So that would be a, I don't know what you'd call that. Okay, so let's see. All right, so this one, it is a little tiny teapot. It's gold and blue with the roses. It's not vintage because it has the um, barcode, but it's so cute. Cute, tiny little teapot there. Perfect for a triple T, right? 
So this one is triple T, $2, number 15. So $2, number 15 for this cute one. Has that Beauty and the Beast vibes, right? <clears throat> okay. And this one is, okay, Craft Jackie for 15. And then this one is a beehive. So it's like a beehive teacup. Cute little thing. Okay, has little bees and the beehive look. This is also $2 and it is number 16. So the beehive is 16, okay? And the other one is 15. And I will write Jackie first for that one, okay? And 16, look at that. All right, figured I'd do them together because they're so cute. And I think I got those at a um estate sale too. Okay. Owie. What I did there. Okay. I'm kind of confused. Who are we talking about? We're saying with the beauty and the beast thing, but I kind of lost you there. <laughs> I'm kind of confused as to who the legend was. I don't know who I missed, but it doesn't take much. Oh, Jane Mansfield. Okay, what was she? Wait, I'm confused. What was she in? Did I miss a conversation? <laughs> I could. Uh, what? It wouldn't take me much to miss a conversation, but. Okay, I don't, did I miss something? I don't know, okay. I probably did, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, here's another bit of a sci-fi one. Before being rescued, how long had Ellen Ripley been in status for in the movie Aliens? So. Oh, okay, all right, thank you. <laughs> I was like, somewhere I missed the whole thing. Hi, Carolina Princess, sweet treats and pretties. Welcome. Okay, so before being rescued, how long had Ellen Ripley been in status or status for in the movie Aliens? Welcome. And we're just, we are looking at its 80s movie trivia. And aren't they so cool? They're on, v, they look like little VHS tapes. Okay, well, let's get a move on. And see what we have next. Okay. Okay, so we have this very adorable little uh note Vinny more than that. So we have these this cute little like praying girl with a bonnet. <laughs> and this is Blue Button Twins 1983. House of Global Art, Republic of China. So it's cute. Now nope, keep going, Vinny. Keep going up. So we have this cute little praying girl in her little bonnet. She's got buttons on her back down there. And uh, <laughs> Miss Mary Mac Mac. No, sorry. Wrong song. Okay. So cute little praying girl. She's going to be $4. $4, number 32. Okay, go down a few years, Vinny. $4, number 32 for the cute little praying girl. Yep, so you got to go down a few years, Vinny. You were too high now. <laughs> so, getting close. 
just a, a few more, <laughs> Vinny, just a few more. Okay, 32 for Belinda, thank you. Okay, little, a little more than, okay, you're getting closer. Lynn, you're getting closer, a few more. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. Almost 55 years, almost off by just a couple. <laughs> okay, I'll give you guys it's 57 years. I know you're like, oh my goodness. So, 57 years. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is just like, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see what is um. Okay, so we have this cute little wire basket here. Just, I know, right? I, I figured I'd just show you because it'd be like, oh my goodness. So you could, you know, definitely farmhouse look. You could put some fake eggs in there, real eggs if you want. The hole's not the biggest, so. But cute little wire basket. It doesn't say who made it, but I just thought it would be cute for the, you know, kitchen decor and this is going to be triple t two dollars number 26 so two dollars number 26 for this cute little wire basket or put a candle in it yep okay 26 for sharon thank you sharon Okay, so we are moving right along here. Let's see what we have next. Okay, now this is a set. I tell you, it is definitely, I think there's only one piece of the original, well, besides the base, only one piece of the original set, I think, because you can totally tell it's not. Okay, so. We have a beautiful condiment set here, okay? It is dolphin teak wood, all right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll take the pieces off and show you. Now this I think is might be the only original piece to it and I don't even think the spoon goes with it, but. So, and, I, and maybe even the cup doesn't go. <laughs> With the teak wood, okay, and you know, for your relishes and whatnot. So, this doesn't fit the top. So, okay, and it does, they did give you a little spoon, stainless steel spoon, okay, and that doesn't match either. So, they tried, <laughs> okay, a salt and pepper shaker that you definitely could tell are as modern, you know, more modern. Okay, all right, and then there's these two, you know, uh, oil and vinegar things, and they still have, they have a barcode on it, so definitely replacing the pieces of the old, from the old stuff. And then this is the base. It says, Dolphin, for food use, genuine tiki, teak wood, Taiwan. So, it is very nice. Um, they, you know, they wanted to give you the stuff that would fit. So, um, okay, so it's a mismatch kind of thing, but it's still pretty. And that's going to be $12, number 22. $12, number 22 for, um, <clears throat> the condiment set no i'm in i'm in the living room so i can't hear thunder twelve dollars number 22 for the condiment set okay we're getting down there guys okay let's see what we have next on which festive festive day is the movie Die Hard set? 
So what day? It's a holiday. What holiday or festive day is the movie Die Hard set on? Okay. Alrighty. So let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. So we have our last flower frog. Yep, you got it. Christmas. <laughs> Okay, that was like the first one I picked up. So we have our last flower frog here. It's orange. It is bigger than the other one that we had. Um, it has one flaw. It has a bit of a chunk right here missing. But you can't really tell too bad. Okay, it's orange flower frog. And yes, it is played as a Christmas movie, right? <laughs> So the frog is $7, number 47. So the orange flower frog is $7, number 47. Okay, Jackie for number 47. Thank you. Okay, so, whoa, we have a couple more. Whoa, hello, get out of there. Oh, okay, yep, yep, yep. I get them for good deals and I like to pass on the good deals. So, <laughs> all right. So, let's see what we have left here. So, we have three regular price and one maybe offer up. <laughs> all right. So, the last three, maybe. Oh, no. Okay. So, two of them are jewelry and the last one is a, um, the other sheet music so what i'll do first let's see okay so i'm gonna do the sheet music first okay this is what a wonderful girl you are and this one i'm almost certain is the 1921 okay so m c m x x m c m x x All right, so here we have what a wonderful girl you are. Very beautiful sheet music. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one is in good condition, a little better than the last one. <laughs> and I'm trying to flatten it out here. But very pretty. And this one is only one of the one sheeters. <laughs> that sounded weird, but okay. And has very beautiful graphics on the back as well. Okay. So this little beauty is going to be $5, number 37. $5, number 37. So you could frame it. Yep, 1920. So you could frame it or use it for ephemera. So $5, number 37. <clears throat> Okay, Belinda for number 37. Thank you, Belinda. Okay, we have two more pieces of, um, yes, yes. Very, very gorgeous. I love the graphics on those. All right, so we have two pieces of jewelry. Let me see. We have what I call the tiger eye brooch. Yes, there are more than one diehard. Yes. So this one is sort of like a tiger eye brooch. Very pretty. Different colors there. And it has like green and black and gold colors. So very nice. It you can um suppose you could wear it either direction, up and down or horizontal. Oh, there's a third one too? Cool. All right. So this one is going to be $8, number 38. So $8, number 38 for the beautiful brooch. OK. 
Okay. And the other brooch is a butterfly brooch. And it's very beautiful. It has like whites and blacks and oranges and everything. So very pretty. Okay. Very beautiful brooch. It's $8, number 39. So they're both $8, either um, for the 38, okay. So Mama J for 38, the tiger's eye um, brooch. Thank you. Yes, it's very beautiful. And then so the number 39 is the um, butterfly brooch. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, and Mama J for 39 too. There you go. Awesome. Okay, so we are down to our last offer up. Maybe. If we want it to be an offer up. No, that is not on the gem sheet. sheet, sheet. <laughs> it is not on that sheet you're talking about, Nora. No. I just know it from before. Okay, so I was thinking of this as an offer up because it's um it's another Tanala type um item. So it is these vintage, if I can get them to come together here. Um, hang on, hang on guys, one second. Hang on. Okay, so, sorry about that. Yes, I didn't put it in airplane mode. So sorry about that, guys. Whew, okay, so Tanala type salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, so one does have a stopper, one does not. And it does say Mexico, very difficult um, writing there. So I am going to do these as an offer up. If it doesn't go that direction, well, okay then. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start these at ten dollars. Okay. Alrighty, so if anyone is interested in these, they're gonna start at ten dollars. Very pretty. Uh blue and um the salt and pepper shakers. Uh you know, one, two, and three there. Okay, and does say Mexico on the bottom, All right? So very pretty, and then it has almost like a grassy kind of thing on the back. All righty. So is anyone interested in these at all? Okay. If we don't want to do an offer up, we could do just ten dollars. Buy it now. So any any off any takers? <laughs> I'm just being weird now. So any takers? Bless you. Okay. No? Okay. Well, let's see. I'll count down from five, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right. Well, we're just going to stop that right there because. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that was my last item. And I usually go over what hasn't sold. So. Um, thank you all for coming. If you can make sure you give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you really want to, and, you know, like this video. Um, and then the information is scrolling at the bottom. If you can send your information to reclaimtreasuresbymary at gmail.com. 
I need your YouTube name, your um, real name, address, zip code, and um, PayPal information. And please let me know if your PayPal is the same or different than your regular email. And um, you can put the number in, but you don't have to because I keep track of it. So thank you all for coming. And if you want, stick around and we will go over what didn't sell. Okay. All right. Okay. So let me get back to straightening up here. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> okay. Awesome. Okay. So let's go over what didn't sell. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Jackie. All right. Okay. So the first item that didn't sell. Is of course the one I can't find. Okay. <laughs> so we have our cute little Avon kitty cat. He's a sleeping cat. So the Avon 1984. All right. He was originally $5. And I will take $3. $3 for number four. So $3, number four for the cute little sleeping kitty cat. Okay. All righty. Now I go a little faster through this, this now, so we don't, okay. So we have, all right, what we're going to do here is that we're just going to go through the stuff right here because finding, okay. So <laughs> we have the little Michigan cup with the Native American. He was $3. And I will take $2. So now he became a triple T. $2, number 18. So $2, number 18. Okay. Uh, number four for Eileen. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And if you're wondering, Eileen is my mom. So there you go, mom, little sleeping kitty cat. Okay, so we did the mug. Let's see what we have next. Okay, we have these two cute little um, Oriental or Hong Kong uh, plastic hangers. And they were made in Hong Kong. And they were $6. I can take $4. So $4, number 33. Four dollars, number thirty-three. All right, four dollars, Jackie. Four dollars, number thirty-three. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's keep going. All righty, so we have our little Japanese type dish, the Japanese flowers. It's blue, light blue with a slightly darker blue, but they're more like, I'd say like a periwinkle kind of blue. Very beautiful. Okay, white on the bottom. Those were six, or that was $6. I'll do $4 for number 31. So $4, number 31. Okay. All right. So, did you get my? Yes, Sharon. I did get you for the um number thirty six, the Carolina sheet music. Yes. Okay. So we have the very beautiful little blue tr blue grayish trinket dish, or jar, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay. So that was twelve dollars. I can do ten dollars. Number 34. So ten dollars, number thirty-four. 
Okay, let's see. All right, so we have the beautiful Afghan. Okay, it's 62 by 52. Was originally an offer up for 15. So I can do a buy it now for 13. So buy it now for 13, number 28. Buy it now, number 13 for number 28. Okay, so thirteen dollars. Number twenty-eight. No, Nora, it is not hinged. It just has tape on it, so it doesn't come off. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we have. We have our Bradley doll. Okay, she um, was originally $8. I can do $6 on the Bradley doll. $6, number 29. So she's $6, number 29. She has that interesting, like, fabric-y type face and her bustle, and it says, I need you. <laughs> so $6, number 29. See what else we have. We have the father mug. Okay. So father mug. It says father on the one side. Yes, I know what you mean. <laughs> and a little poem on the bottom. And it says made in Japan on the bottom. Okay. All right. So that was four dollars. Well, then it comes down. This is a triple T, two dollars. $2 for the father mug, number 49. So 49 for $2. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Sort of, yes. All right. So we have the... Um, Let's see, we have the food, the food, um, the kitchen thing. <laughs> food should be cooked with love, <laughs> maybe must, might, lots of love and lots of bubbler. <laughs> Very strange, I don't know. Pretty cool though, okay? So this was $6, it can go down to $4. $4 number 21 for the plaque, $4. Number 21. Okay. So we have our little, oh, well, happy Mother's Day, Maria, if you're a mom. <laughs> okay. Yes, I don't know. It's okay. All right, so we have the cute little mouse engagement thing here. It's so cute. Okay. And um, <laughs> all right, so I can't remember what number the mice are. So let's see. All right. I don't know why I don't know. Oh, never mind. I don't know how that. Yes, you, you're right, Belinda. I figured it out. <laughs> it took a little bit, but I figured it out. Okay. Yes, you're right. It is. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Just keeping everybody on their toes, right? Okay, awesome. Well, happy Mother's Day, Maria. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> okay, so we have the something. All right. Okay, trying to get to the swan. All right, so we have the swan. 
very beautiful. It's I'll show you the name because I can't say it. Okay. <laughs> very beautiful sh swan swan. <laughs> okay. Very beautiful, very tall, like almost six, seven inches. A little tiny chip there, but it's still very beautiful. I'm not sure what this landing is for, but okay. So seven, six, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Okay, so five dollars, number nine. Five dollars, number nine for the swan. So five dollars, number nine. Okay. Okay, let's see. Got all of those. Alrighty. So, okay. We have these strawberry mugs, which I don't know. Did they sell? I don't think they sold. But if they did, tell me, please let me know. Okay. If they sold, let me know. I don't remember. But okay, so the strawberry mugs, there's two of them. Okay, they were originally. I know, right? Yeah. The um what's her name's not here. <laughs> Kim. So two beautiful strawberry mugs. They were ten dollars originally, so eight dollars. Eight dollars number eleven. So they are two lidded uh strawberry mugs. Two lidded strawberry mugs. Eight dollars number eleven. We have our Harley Davidson mug. So, Harley Davidson mug. Okay. Harley on the bottom. It was originally $9. I'll take $7 for number 12. $7 number 12. All right, so let's keep moving along. I'm, I'm losing my mind to my stuff. Okay, so we have the very beautiful teacup and salt. Oh, coming back. Okay, so Jackie, $7 for number 12. Thank you. All right, thank you, Jackie. I got you for that. So we have the very beautiful Napco teacup and saucer. Okay. I love the teacup, but the saucer is beautiful. Right? They are both Napco. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Definitely pretty Napco. Okay. This is going to be um, so $8. $8, number 13. So $8, number 13 for the beautiful cup and saucer. Never too early, right? <laughs> oh, geez, guys, you know what? I, like, totally missed something. <laughs> I didn't even get the card out for it. Okay, well, this is a duck mug. <laughs> Now, this would definitely, I think, be something for decoration because the crazing is crazy. There's a ton of crazing on here, but it's very nice. I don't know if it's hand done because it's just all it says is LP at the bottom. But the crazing is crazy. <laughs> so very nice little mallard or duck mug. This is going to be $4, number 14. So $4, number 14. Okay, sorry, I totally missed that one the first time around, so. All right, let's see. I did that, okay. Uh, I don't know. If you're talking about the woman on down the road, I she did still have one. She was still doing it this weekend. So, if that's who you're referring to, Nora, if you look on Facebook Marketplace, that she was still there. Alrighty, so the condiment, oh my goodness, the condiment, 
the condiment set was $12. I'll take $10 for number 22. So $10, number 22. Salt, pepper, oil, vinegar, and a relish or a mayonnaise, mustard, whatever you want to put in there. So $10, number 22. Okay. Uh, we have our art glass pepper. Does anybody want an art glass pepper? It was originally $12 offer up. I can take $10, buy it now. So $10, buy it now. Very uh, beautiful art glass red pepper. Okay. Alrighty. So we have the Mexican uh, salt and pepper shaker set. We did, uh, was going to be $10 offer up, but no takers. So eight or 10, yeah, $8, buy it now. And that is number 24. 24 for the salt, the Mexican salt and pepper shakers. Okay. Alrighty. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. There we go. Oh, let's say. <clears throat> we have this cute little shadow box. Okay, from Hallmark with a beautiful little poem. Right? It is all plastic. It was originally $10. I'll take $8, number 30. So $8, number 30. Um, Sharon, the one does have a stopper. Uh, but the other one does not. So we have one with a stopper and one without. Okay. And the little Hallmark poem box here is um, $8. So $8, number 30. $8, number 30. Okay. okay. So we are getting down to the little, little bit. Okay. <clears throat> okay, friends. Now, I am very bad. This did sell, but I can't remember who and for how much. That's so bad. The green depression glass, the uranium glass. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why I didn't write that down. But if you can remember, let me know. If not, I'll go back in the video. But I know that sold. So bad, aren't I? Okay. So. Okay, so we got a couple left. Let's see. So, wait a minute. Did those sell? All right, well, again. Was it Carrie? May I think it was. I'll go back in and check. I always, you know, that's why I type it in the thing and I'll go back and check. No problem. Okay, so the tiny salt substitute thing. So it's an itty bitty salt substitute container. It still has it in there, but I thought it was cool for the graphics. Okay. So if anybody's interested in this, um, it was three dollars, so I'll go two dollars, two dollars. Number 43. So $2, number 43. I wouldn't suggest using it because it looks pretty old. <laughs> okay. All right. And what do we got left? All right. Well, let me see about the posters here. I thought they sold, but maybe not. Just want to make sure I did everything. Right, there we go. Okay, I did miss it. Okay, so <clears throat> we have the Niagara Falls um, coasters. They are plastic coated and they are leather on the back. There's four scenes. They are Niagara Falls, Canada. Very pretty and leather back. They are vintage. 
and they were ten dollars i'll take eight dollars for the uh the coasters eight dollars for the coasters niagara falls coasters number 25. so number 25 eight dollars I might have done them already, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's everything. No, it's okay, Nora. I'll go back in and check. I know somebody won that. It's, it's my own fault. Um, <clears throat> okay, guys. Well, 25. Okay, there you go, Jackie. Awesome. Okay, so $8 for the Niagara Falls coasters. Thank you. All right, guys, that is everything. So if there's something that you saw that didn't sell that you think about later on, just, you know, shoot me an email and let me know. And don't forget to check out all the other wonderful people having sales coming up. Um, Angela Marksbury does a great job of posting it on Instagram. And uh, San uh, Trisha from Sandy and Otto sometimes does a video version. So thank you all for coming. And um, yes, I can. I could do that. Yes. Crafty Jackie or Jackie, I could do that. Yes. All right. So thank you guys coming. Oh, my goodness. Three hours. Whew. So yes, thumbs up, subscribe, like this video, and check out some of my older videos. And, um, you, you know, I have my camper trailer. So you'll see what I was talking about, about doing some videos from my trailer so thank you guys for coming all right have a good memorial day and enjoy you know the good weather if you got it enjoy your company i'll see you next time guys bye